Welcome back to the Classic Game Room Interview Series. Today with a very special interview, a movie director, a film director. It's Brad Crawford, the producer, director, writer, and editor of 100 Yen, the Japanese arcade experience. That's right. That's a well, fun title. Oh, it's a long title. It's too long, and it, it uh, shows you why I've been working on this project for two years. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's about the length that it takes to make a feature-length documentary film, if I'm not mistaken, because I've, I spent about seven years making documentaries, and uh, I, I know the ups and downs of at least my experience. Maybe, maybe yours is, is different. But let's get started by uh, talking about what, what the film is this is a documentary about the Japanese arcade experience and how it differs from American arcades. Uh, why don't you kick it off? What's what is 100 yen the Japanese arcade experience about? Sure, uh, it's all about the history of arcades in Japan. So we started off with you know Space Invaders. Um, you know how did how did Space Invaders kind of take the the nation by storm? Uh, we we kind of it's it's an educational experience. I mean for people this isn't. I mean, it'll have stuff for the hardcore fans, of course, um, but it's for people who don't even realize that arcades are still around. I mean, it's really about explaining and exploring uh, what the Japanese arcades are all about. Well, what are the Japanese arcades all about? That's, that's a great question. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a long answer, I think. But, um, I mean, it's all about the evolution of video games and, and social interaction in these public spaces that contain our favorite you know pastimes mm -hmm. um, claw games music games shooting games fighting games you know all of those things still exist and uh and they're exciting and vibrant and japanese <laughs> now you're uh, you're canadian is that correct yes okay and uh, so you are familiar with the north american demise of arcades unless they're like living and breathing in canada and i don't know about it but um, no, they're they're pretty much gone from Canada. There's a few, but not not something that we can call an arcade culture. I think. No, I, I miss that myself. Actually, I have fond memories of the arcades, which is why I'm basically assembling my own arcade in our studio set here for Classic Game Room. I've got it started with three arcade machines and pinball. We've got nice. What? Uh, yeah, what do you got? Centipede, Frenzy, Rolling Thunder, and then Black Hole Pinball. <laughs> awesome. So it's a, it's a pretty kick-ass arcade. I, I, I'm uh, looking forward to the next time I can just uh, sneak a six-pack in here. and <laughs> Why do I say sneak? Proudly drag a six-pack in <laughs> yeah, here there you go. There and, you go. Uh, and rock the frenzy and centipede machine when, I, when yeah. I'm in the mood. But uh, what, and I know this is probably covered in the film, but what's the really short answer on this? What is, why have arcades disappeared from the West yet continue to flourish in Japan? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, in North America, especially, the console uh, release definitely hurt arcades. I mean, not, not that it didn't hurt it in Japan either. I mean, uh, the accessibility of video games obviously changed things up a little bit. But um, but in Japan, they have like a, a train culture. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. population density. There's people everywhere. And so uh, there's a lot of foot traffic and arcades really cater to foot traffic. I mean, there's uh, the crane games, the prize redemption games, right out on the streets. They've got the music games, the flashy games, right there too. So, so you're walking down the street uh, with these redemption games out on the street, and you're drawn into these locations. I mean, you you want to go into arcades and you want to experience what they have, to, you know, see what they have to offer because you're it's right out in front of your face, and mm -hmm. there's people everywhere. So it just it keeps it busy. Um, whereas I think in North America we have you know our homes become these entertainment uh, locations. So, so it's more of the social like, scene in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Instead of instead of be, uh, inviting people over to your home, you you all meet in a central location and hit up the arcade to play games or have fun. See, I miss that. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I, I like that. I like going to the arcades. And the thing I've noticed, I mean, I, I guess I've known this all, all, all my, my all my life, but I think more lately now that I do more work with you know the art and concept of video games and talking about them and what makes one different from the other, when getting a few arcade games. I uh, hear it into the set. If I want to just have a short fix, 10, 15 minutes, can play with one of the other guys around the office, it's, it's, a, it's a fun, short little just get-together or, or a fun challenge to try to get a high score at Frenzy or Centipede and then just move on to something else. And console games are designed to take the rest of your life to play now. Right, right. Which is very... It's just... It's, it's, like, it's, almost, it's like games have become antisocial in that respect, whereas arcade oh. games are social. 
Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. Now it's like 80 hours is short. You know, it's like, well, what about five minutes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I think five minutes is plenty of time just to, you know, at least a couple short games. Yeah, but, well, you can play lots of five-minute games. <laughs> so obviously, you've, you've spent some time in Japan, and you must have enjoyed the arcade experience over there. Yeah, I lived there for three years, and um, living there, I mean, you, you can't miss it. I mean, it's everywhere. So I was excited to see that arcades are still around, and really, when I got back to Canada, that's when, that's when it hit me, and I was like, wow, we, we don't have that anymore, and I, this needs to be like, this needs to be explored, because... People don't even realize that arcade culture is, is still around, especially in Japan, and it, that it's as popular as it is. Well, how did the, this film project start? Um, so, as I said, I lived in Japan mm -hmm. uh, for three years, and when I came home, uh, I got back and it was like, okay, I, I, I started my own film company, so I started producing films, and um, I went back, I had a chance to go back to Japan for my friend's wedding. And that was a perfect opportunity. I was like, okay, well, I'm going back. Let's make this movie. So it was just me and a camera and a microphone uh, just running around Japan, um, capturing as much as I could. Mm -hmm. And I put up a trailer on the internet saying, like, on Indiegogo, saying, if, if, if you guys like this, I've made a little little trailer. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but check it out. Um, and it became fairly popular, and I managed to raise enough money to go back to Japan. And so that's what we did. We, we got... Uh, proper people involved we got you know Taito we got Sega we got um, some interesting gamers like Daigo Mehara mm -hmm. and some classic shooting game players and we went back and we filmed them uh, with a crew with lighting with with the whole deal so that's kind of how it all evolved into a, a, a proper movie and uh, now we've just been editing for the last <coughs> year basically. Mm -hmm. 